Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be testing out the new Victoria Beckham Beauty line. Is it just called Victoria Beckham? Yes, it is. It is Victoria Beckham Beauty. As some of you, probably most of you know, Victoria Beckham did have kind of like a little curated makeup collection with Estee Lauder. She had like her own little branch off. So this is not that. This is her actual beauty line, like Victoria Beckham's beauty line. I'm a little nervous to do this first impressions. These products were so damn expensive, honest to God, if I do not look like Victoria Beckham by the time it's all done, I will be disappointed. I just don't know how I want to be. <laughs> I'm hoping the makeup is just unbelievably amazing to justify this insane price of these products. We're going to go through prices as we do this. I did purchase this all myself. Oh my God. I don't know that my husband will ever talk to me again. <laughs> and I'm taking donations for rent. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally not. But damn, it's expensive, you guys. Holy shit. One thing I was disappointed to see, there was no face products just yet. I'm sure those will be launching hopefully sometime soon. Face makeup is my favorite. More than eye makeup, I love blush, I love highlighter, I love bronzer. Face makeup is just my jam. I also did not see a mascara. I don't know if I missed it, but I don't think I saw a mascara either. So I'm gonna show you guys what I bought. We're gonna try it on the face and yeah, I hope this is gonna be great. Cause if not, I'm gonna be pissed. One thing I do wanna point out that I really appreciate, the packaging is all sustainable. So everything can be recycled. They do let you know that right Right on the box says this package is made from sustainable materials. Learn more at victoriabeckhambeauty.com slash sustainability. So this is how it comes. It's a beautiful package. And yeah, so let's get into it. One thing I will say, this is a nice touch. However, I would be willing to forego this if it would lower the cost of the makeup items. So I believe with every purchase, you get this really pretty little bag. It's like kind of a canvas material. It has this black drawstring so you can tighten it up. And then you have the cutest little makeup a bag. I actually adore this and I will definitely use this. I love that it has uh, Victoria Beckham's logo on the front. It's really, really nice. I mean, it's not super, super, it's canvas, you know. <laughs> you can make this yourself. This is like a DIY project, but it's a good sized little bag and I appreciate that that came with it. I hope it comes with every single freaking item because these are so expensive. So I did place one big order, but they sent in two boxes. So I did get two bags, which I guess is kind of cool. So let's first go over what I purchased. This is the packaging here of the products. I really Really, really like it. It's kind of like a drier cardboard, which I like. It says Victoria Beckham on there. These are the two lip liners I got. I got shade number one and shade number two. I've watched a few videos using these products. I watched Tati Beauties, I believe, and then I watched uh, Samantha Ravendall. And I actually bought this because of Samantha. She used a few products and I thought they looked so stunning on her. I mean, what freaking doesn't? I'm such a fan of hers, but um, even though she wasn't like, go out and buy this, I still like went out and bought it just because she looked beautiful in it. So these are the lip pencils. Very sleek packaging. I do really like it. It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know. It's like, I feel like it's a product I would buy in Paris. You know what I mean? It feels super fancy. Here is the lip liner in shade one. Oh, I love this. A nice pinky nude. That's like exactly what I want for every day. And then I did get shade number two because a lot of times when I line my lips, uh, I like to do a layering thing. So I thought one and two might be nice together. Here is shade two. Ooh, very nice. A little deeper nude there. And I do love those together. This is what they look like. And here we are zoomed in so you guys can get a better look. I love both of them. I really do. I think they're beautiful colors. Another nice little touch. There's a lot of like little bonuses that come uh, with this line. With every pencil, you do get a Victoria Beckham pencil sharpener. And who doesn't need a pencil sharpener? So, you know, I actually have four because I bought four different pencils, two eyeliners and two lip liners. I haven't seen the sharpener yet, so we'll see how decent it is. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, I mean, it does have a VB for Victoria Beckham logo on there. I hate that there's not like a cap. I hate when they're just open like that because it's going to fall everywhere and like be a total mess but it's nice to like keep in your bag you know emergencies or keep at your desk whatever so and actually the lip liners are the most affordable thing out of everything they are $24 a piece which to me is really high because you can get so many amazing lip liners for under $20 Essence Beauty has some of my favorite lip liners NYX Cosmetics I mean you do not have to go high-end for lip liner but to be in the high-end realm and I think Victoria Beckham's really going for almost that Chanel client that Lancome client uh do your clients, the really high-end makeup clients. I think that is who this is, you know, more directed to. $24. So that's not terrible for the high-end client. And it does come with the sharpener, so that's nice. I got two of the Satin Kajel liners. So these are eye pencils. These also come with the sharpeners. These were $26, so a little more expensive than, uh, you know, the lip liners. Why did 
I just get black? I don't know, that annoys me. So like I said, I did get a black. I don't know why I did. I wish I would have got something with color. I have a thousand black liners. It looks super soft. It almost reminds me of like the Herb Decay Liodon liners. Oh, wow. It is a Kajel, so it's, do I say that right? A Kajel? A Kajel? It's super smooth, sleek. I wonder how it's going to last and stay on because usually these satin Kajel formulas, they can melt pretty easily. I love that because I love a grungy liner, but if you want something to stay put, I worry about how this will do all day. It's extremely soft, you guys, extremely soft. And it does have another end uh, to blend out. Then I also got the bronze shade. I'm trying to remember if Samantha used this in her video. I can't remember. Oh, and this is pretty. It has little micro glitters in it. So soft, you guys. So, so, so soft. I'm actually really drawn to that bronze shade. I have a lot of bronze liners, but I don't think they're exactly like this shade. I think it actually does look a little more unique. I don't think that they're like wondrous, like mind-blowing products. It's just Kajel liners. I do really like like that the packaging feels a little more sexy and sleek. This feels really heavy and I was really excited about this. This is the Victoria Beckham Bitten Lip Tint. It's in the shade Bizou? Bizou? I don't know. Everything feels very like French and sleek and sexy. So this is the lip tint. I read amazing reviews about this on the Victoria Beckham site. So I don't know what the deal is. It looks like super dark, doesn't it? And then when you get it on, it's just a sheer lip tint. We'll see, you know, ColourPop, a lot of great brands make these kind of lip tints. I don't know necessarily that you have to spend, how much was this? I think this was close to like $36 if I'm not mistaken. $34. It was $34. It looks beautiful. I will say it's kind of like a dusty brown mauve shade. I'm excited to try it on the lips. I really am. And lastly, I got two things for the eyes. This one here is again something that uh, Samantha used and it looks so beautiful on her. I wanted it so bad. This is the Lid Luster. It's in the shade Mink. This I'm really nervous about. Okay, this cost $36. Packaging is stunning, okay? It is. I love this. It's really sexy, super sleek, and it feels heavy and it feels nice. However, we've seen these type of lid lusters from Lancome, from L'Oreal. Um, and you'll know exactly what I mean when you see it. It's got that little topper, you know what I mean? That little lid that you pull off like that, and then that's it right there. It does look stunning, don't get me wrong, but I'm wondering if I'll notice a difference or think it's any better than, you know, the ones we would get from L'Oreal that you guys know were my favorite back in the day. Oh wow, dang it, that was out of focus because that was really, really good. Do you see that? That was highly, highly pigmented and it looks really pretty. Okay, I'm a little more excited. I'm shocked at how that went on. I did not think that was gonna be as pigmented as it is. And then I bought two of the Smoke Eye Bricks. <sighs> These are $54 a piece. That is outrageous. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. For this little thing, it is so teeny tiny. It's like a little business card holder. Actually, that would be really cool if you could like run through this, you know, use this all up and then you could keep your business cards in there. Is that so stupid? This is the shade Tweed. It spoke to me. It's purpley, rusty, camely, chocolatey. I love warm tones and this just, it spoke to me. It really Really, really did. Um, I love the packaging. It's super sleek. Again, just sexy. It's highly weighted. I love the gold all around it. It's beautiful. If anything, this collection is absolutely stunning packaging wise. However, I'm going to be shocked if I say, yeah, definitely pay $54 for this. I will be shocked. That's an insane amount of money. The other shade I got is Signature, and this is just kind of the light neutral one. It kind of reminds me of like Neapolitan ice cream. I do like that the main lid shades are bigger in the palettes, and then you have your little accent shades, because a lot of women, I think that this is kind of marketed towards, probably do mostly use like a base shade every day and then a touch of something else. So I do like that that was kind of thought of to give people really their money's worth, something that they're gonna use the most of. I think it's a nice touch, so, but damn. There is a mirror in here too. That's really nice. All right, so I guess we mostly have eye products, right? Yeah, we do. Why am I asking? So I think I'm gonna kind of bounce between the two of them. I don't know, I'm gonna be honest, the one signature just really does not, I don't know, it's just basic, it's very boring. This one though, I do just love this color scheme. I think it is a little more unique and I think it really speaks to me. So let's, you know, let's 
let's go ahead and start with this one. Oh, I didn't even zoom you beautiful bitches in. Hold on. Oh, the nerve. What is wrong with me? So I already have a little concealer and setting powder on my lids, which is how I like to start off my makeup. So we're going to go into Tweed. The actual shade is called Caramel or Caramel, depending on how you say it. Oh, I, wow. I think I took like way more than I needed. A lot of fallout there when I tap off my brush, but a lot of fallout when I tap off my brush. But it's possible I went in too aggressively, so I'm not, you know, counting that as a stripe just yet. We'll see how pigmented it is on the eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and start in the crease. Pop this in as a transition. This is my Sigma E40 blending brush. This is beautiful. I know it's nothing we haven't seen before and yet it is so pigmented and I am really drawn to it. Add a little bit more to this outer corner. I think I let my concealer and my setting powder dry a little too long on my face. That's beautiful. Doing the same thing on this other eye. There's something about this color that I just really, really love. Okay, so let's go into the palette uh, signature. I just want to take that kind of beigey cream shadow here above the caramel shade we just applied. Kind of want this as a highlight, but also to help blend that out. So right underneath my brow, I'm gonna use that to smooth over those edges. I took this caramel shade a lot higher than I wanted to because I was really, really digging it. Oh, that's not as light as I thought it was gonna be. It's very, very beigey. You can see it, it didn't brighten or lighten. It actually darkened that area. But I do like, I do like how they're like kind of blending into each other. Jumping back into Tweed, I wanna go into this chocolatey brown. This time I'm trying to be conscious of not taking so much because dang, I didn't expect it to be that pigmented. And let's pop this in the outer and blending that down onto the lash line as well. I think this is just beautiful. I'm so relieved to know that it's not a chalky, icky mess. It has beautiful pigment. It's really, really blendable. There's something about it, I don't know, that I'm just really enjoying. It just feels good to not be like, it doesn't feel like something that Victoria just like stamped her name on and was like, good enough, <laughs> people will buy it, you know, and just kind of launched. It feels like a lot of like care and thought probably went into these products to make sure that they were high quality. And that makes me feel really good. Cause I honestly, I just wasn't sure. Oh, I wish I didn't love this eyeshadow so much. I think it's so beautiful. <laughs> All right, going back into the signature palette. I know it's a little unfair. I'm kind of jumping between two palettes and I don't want you guys to think you need both. If anything, oh my gosh, Tweed is my absolute favorite. I love those tones, but because I have both, I'm just using both. We're now going into this deep, 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 deep espresso with my favorite little hooded eye brush. You guys know this is my best friend. This is the E36 from Sigma. This brush is amazing. It blends keeps it real tight. It keeps it exactly where you want it to be. It's just been my best friend for years. You guys know this, but I'm just adding some definition in there, keeping it really, really, really tight to that crease. <sighs> Damn you, Victoria. This is beautiful. So now I want to take the Black Gel Smoky Liner and I'm going to drag this on my top lash line. Should we wing it out just a bit? Just a bit. And then take that smudgy side and blend. The Kajel liners are the best if you love a real smoky, smudgy lash line because they do blend so well. And you can see it blends all the way over. It's very emollient. This liner is a dream to smudge with. I'm just gonna say that right now. Let's go ahead and pop. I don't want this to dry too much. I want to take the Victoria Beckham Mink Lid Luster Shadow. Oh, I think this eye is so beautiful. And I'm just gonna take this with my finger. I think these work great with your finger. If you don't prefer to use your finger, something like the Sigma E58 Cream Colored Brush is wonderful for shadows like this. Gosh, this just looks amazing. And I'm gonna pop that right on the lid. <sighs> She's a beauty. She is a beauty. I think I will wear this makeup look to every holiday party I go to this year. Any just night function. My birthday makeup, my birthday's December 23rd. So for whatever I do for my birthday, I think I will wear this for sure. It is such a just amazing glam look. It's so my soul. It's like that gritty, dingy glamour that I love so very much. I'm so damn mad. I love this makeup so much it's like annoying okay the one thing is I do want to mention I had wanted to use the bronze eyeliner that I had purchased on my lower lash line the Kajel just pressed so much I did go in and just kind of add the black again because the black from the top lash line because it's a Kajel like I said it's super emollient it's a little more wet a little more tacky it just was stamping onto my lower lash line there was no way I could add the bronze too it would have been gross and mixy which I don't like so I just went ahead 
ahead and tight lined with that black liner again. But how beautiful is that eyeshadow? Again, not saying you can't find this from other brands, anything more affordable or something similar to it. However, I do love it. I do. I'm just going to take a little bit of that chocolatey brown on a little pencil brush. This is the E30 from Sigma. And I'm going to smudge that into the lower lash line on top of that liner and smoke that out a bit. Are you guys shocked I didn't use this rusty color in here? Because I am. That color is kind of always like, if I see it in a palette, I will use it. So I'm a little surprised with myself. And I'm just taking a clean dry brush and smudging that out a little bit more because I don't want it to be, I mean, it's going to be harsh, but I want it to be a little more blown out, not so precisely done. I love a glam grunge, as you know. So let's try to grunge it up a bit. <sighs> I love this darkness. Okay, I'm going to apply my mascara and then we will move on to the lips. All right, so mascara is on. I used uh, one of my new favorites. This is Laura Mercier's Caviar Volume. And I did curl my lashes with my Laura Mercier eyelash curler. These eyes are so beautiful. I was just thinking when I was putting on my mascara, I would love to just take a the black, you know, eyeliner. No shadow, you guys, no shadow. Black liner, really smoke it out. Have a really nice, strong, smoky wing. And then to just put this on top of the eyeliner and just have this amazing, glimmery cat eye with no eyeshadow. I think would be so beautiful. So now we're gonna move on to the lips, you guys. We're first gonna start with lip liner. I first am gonna start with shade one, which was the lighter shade of the two, and fully line my lips with this. That is a beautiful peachy pink. I really like that. I don't know if this is weird. Okay, it's a little weird. I love how lip liner smells. It smells like a pencil and makeup, and it's like the best smell ever. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of shade number two, which was the deeper nude, just to make it a little more pouty right on the outer edges. I love these lip liners, you guys. This is just it makes me think of kind of like 90s glam this look like I don't know it's a very bombshell lip combo you know what I mean like a bombshell babe those old photos I don't know I love it it really makes your lips look super full I love how opaque it is so love those now we're gonna try on the lip tint it's the bitten lip tint I have the shade bizu I'm not saying that correctly at all bizu bizu I don't fucking I don't fucking um, but it's the Bitten Lip Tint. <laughs> and again, it looks like it's going to be such a deep berry, but it really wasn't on my swatch, so I'm interested in what it looks like. Interesting. It's darker than what I would have wanted with this eye look. I like it. I like them together. I wish it was a little bit lighter because I loved the way those lip liners looked with the eyes, but this is fun too. Again, it's a little bit of that dark, grungy glam. I think it's a little 90s bombshell makeup. Actually, I'm kind of really digging it now. Now that that lip tint's kind of drying down, which by the way, I cannot feel it at all. It almost just felt like water. Water. It didn't even feel like lip gloss. It feels extremely thin. I'm a little blown away. I would really actually be interested in trying the other shades of the lip tints because I like this. It's so 90s like grunge glam, isn't it? <gasps> <sighs> All right, you guys, so here is the finished face. What do you think? It's no secret that I love it. I hate that I've loved it throughout this entire video. I think I mostly hate it because I don't know that, I don't think I could ever spend this much money on makeup ever again. This was like a once in a lifetime thing. I, I never go all out and buy makeup this expensive ever. It like makes me sick to do that. But I'm such a fan of Victoria and I really wanted to try this. It did look really nice and I'm happy I did. I'm happy I have it. If you're interested and you wanted to know what you could skip on, Obviously the eyeliners and the lip liners, you can find amazing eyeliners and lip liners from any brand, whether it be high-end or drugstore. Like I was saying, Essence, NYX, you know, you guys know all the brands. Elf, there's beautiful products from really affordable brands. If you were gonna splurge on anything, I, honest to God, if you really wanted to splurge, again, I know this is silly for such small amounts of eyeshadow, but I do love this palette, you guys. I think this is gonna be a go-to palette for me. I love that it's small, actually, kind of weirdly enough, even though you don't get that much product so it kind of sucks but I love that I could carry it around with me very easily I just think it's beautiful and it performed so beautifully the shadows are unbelievably pigmented I really am blown away by the quality here I was a little unsure if whether or not it was gonna be like another celebrity line that they didn't put much thought into or didn't invest much in. you know what I'm saying just sometimes those celebrity lines are just kind of like like why why is it so expensive when we have great products for much more affordable things I would honestly compare the shadows to something like an Natasha Denona shadow or a, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow. The quality is wonderful. It really is. So if you were in the mood to splurge and just kind of spoil yourself with something high end, I would suggest these palettes. Not saying you have to have it or you're missing out if you don't have it. Not at all. If you wanted to splurge, I think you'd enjoy it. I will say the same for the Ming Lid Luster shadow as well. It's a splurge. I think you'd really enjoy it. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I would say this is me in a nutshell. Like these eyes, Oh my god.
god, it's everything I love about makeup. This right here is everything to me. It is my soul on my eyeshadow right now. I adore this. I adore this. I am shocked at how beautiful this lip tint is. I thought it wasn't going to do much, but it did. It gave us a very 90s lip. They do have other colors, so check that out. I think they do have reds and fun things like that, but I really love this. I love it, you guys. I do. So I'm happy to own it. I don't think I could ever do it again, but I'm going to enjoy it while I have it, and I'll be really sad when I run out of anything because I really, really like it. Those are my final thoughts on the Victoria Beckham collection. If you guys check out anything, let me know. I'm very, very curious, and I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!